Yo, what's up guys? It's Havo, King Havo to be exact. I'm back with another video showing off the all pro football rosters that I'm making. So uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm still working. Just wanted to show you real quick before we get started. I changed the Rams logo to be the uh, Vipers and and somebody suggested that in one of my uh, previous videos. So I tried it and actually it looks pretty good on the field. So without further ado, the new team that I created this week was uh, is the Seahawks. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and check this out. Do a little match between the Rams and the Seahawks. See what you guys think. So, all right. First off, I mean, it's pretty standard in terms of the logo. Um, and this is the uh, the home field, obviously the stadium that I that I pick for them, Scorpions Field. And there's Pete Carroll. Man, I like these two guys. They're bound to be at the top of everyone's must-have list. Between the two of them, the offense and defense should both hold their own. So yeah, so the Rams got two gold, two silver, the rest uh, bronze. But uh, Seahawks, I gave them three golds, four silvers, and four bronze. And, you know, as I mentioned in my previous videos, you know, I put uh, abilities in all the other guys, too. Um... Not all of not all of them, but the ones that deserve abilities um, that are non-tiered players. So, all right. So let's see. So yeah, it's fun, man. It's a it's a lot of. A lot of homework putting together these teams. The Seahawks, the Seahawks were fun to put uh, to put on a roster. They have a lot of good players, um, and the uniforms look pretty tight too. So let me know if you guys like them. I've already played like one one half with them, um, probably two halves with them already actually, just to do some testing. And make sure the uniforms look right. And uh, but if you notice the the Rams, if you look from far away, you'll you'll see the um, the shape of the Viper looks does look better. So I like the way that looks. And then the Seahawks, the the Fury. Um, I didn't I didn't color in the circle underneath the the bird there. I just, um, as you can see, it's blue, so you just see the tail feather. But normally that logo has a full circle around it. I just think it looks better um, without that circle because it shows it shows more horizontally. So from far away, it looks pretty good. And the Rams from the back there, you can see if somebody's turned around like sideways, it definitely looks better, I think, than the... Uh, the one that I used last time, which is that spinning hurricane looking circle that people usually use. So I'm still tinkering around with the uh, with the penalty sliders. I want to get penalties in the game. I want them to come up. I don't want it to be a full game of like two penalties. I want to see more penalties to to match the real thing but yeah yeah i'm excited i mean every time i make a new team that's one more matchup you know that i can do a quick play and uh and it's it's cool because i'm getting more matchups and it's fun like i said it's fun creating your team and i've added some new things to the editor like i told you guys in my previous video so i'm definitely doing more um, as I go, because I'm seeing some opportunities to improve the roster making process, and I'll be showcasing that soon. So, uh, so stay tuned for for more info there. But yeah, yeah, I wanna I wanna see how well I can play with this team because they should be solid. I mean, 
In real life, they're they're solid. So, oh God, I don't know how that guy got to that. chance for a reception there the defense forces fourth down and even if they had completed the pass it still would have been short yes. you, you have to run all right so let's see here the one white guy on the seahawks team is uh i sent him to mark rippon's face so all the white guys have his face and uh i may change that because his face looks a little bit like the generic faces and that's him right there so just to get a picture of what I'm referring to but man I've been I've been playing this game like I told you guys I've been playing this um, for a long time and I've never created my own roster um, I've tried to and I never really was able to get very far like one or two teams I think I'm on team six right now with the addition of the Seahawks <clears throat> and man it's such a nice feeling, I mean, and I'm also using the legend faces now on all the players, and that adds so much more authenticity to the game. So, you know, with the Seahawks, I, I watched a lot of video with them, and I wanted to make sure I got the right abilities set. So, you know, I want them to play like their true counterpart. You know, it's hard. So I'm still tinkering around with the ratings, you know, I'm setting them very close. Obviously, the speed, the agility, the jumping, and the strength are all based on their combine stats um, for every single player. But then the other things, you know, I mix it up depending on their, their stats, the way they play. Um, I don't know what they were doing, four verticals there. <laughs> Just drinking myself a little bit of coffee. Tastes good. I don't know what's going on with the eyes there. I noticed that on a few players, the eyes look a little um, like glittery, like they're like just like sparkling around. I noticed it on on uh, on Wilson as well, Russell Wilson. So if you guys out there know why that's happening, I'm going to have to do like a couple tests just to see what's going on. But <clears throat> I noticed the eyes are like flickering around on some of these players. And I can't recall if that's normal or not. But if it is, I'll just ignore it. If it's not, I might take a closer look into why that's happening. The running backs, you know, even though Marshawn Lynch left um, and retired, the running backs for the... For the uh, Seahawks are all pretty damn solid. Um, and they're all like lightning fast players, man. They're 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 really they're really quick. Um, I don't have any stars on them, but they have they have abilities and they have attributes that are very close to it. Um, that are that are star types, so we call them coppers in the other leagues that I've played with. Um, because they have some abilities, they have good stats. So they're not bronze, silver, or gold, but we call them copper. Because they they make up the uh, the feel for a uh, for a tier player, but they, they don't have the actual tier. So I put the last names on, or at least the, the names, basically using the last names of uh, any player I can get to. So if I um, if I can add the last name, I'll add it in. The, the game says the full name. So it'll say the, f the full first and last name of whatever player I chose. Um, so keep that in mind. But when I can't find any name that resembles it or, you know, sounds just like it, then I just use the number. Um, one thing I'm also finding is that I don't always get the date of birth for the rookies because I can't. The sites I'm looking at really doesn't have that data. Um, if they're rookies, I, I have to go hunting around for it for the date of birth. And to be honest, I don't look at it enough. So 
Um, I may come back to that, but I may just leave them with uh, bogus birthdays for the rookies that I can't find. So the other guys, the guys, um, even rookies, the ones I can find data bursts for, obviously I put them in. Um, But yeah, that was a nice clean pass. I was finding in my previous games, man, Wilson was throwing some interceptions, and I didn't know if it was, you know, me or him. But he's pretty, he's pretty stacked up. I'll show you guys what he's set with, uh, real quick, just so you can kind of get a glimpse. He's got scrambler, clutch, leadership bonus, laser arm, and QB evade. So he's pretty well stacked, you know. And you can see, you know, all his bio information set. So his eyes look good there, so I don't know why in the game they flicker around. It's not a big deal, but I'm so damn OCD with this stuff. I, uh, you know, I get crazy. Um, yeah. Man, I'm loving this stuff. Loving these rosters, guys. So yeah, I'm watching, like, the videos, too. I'm watching these guys' highlights, like their college and... You know, if they're if they're younger players, I watch their college career a little bit. I watch highlights. If it, if they're obviously veterans, and I can find you know NFL highlights, I watch those first. But I'm trying to get you know some footage so I know you know so I, I know what these uh, what these players play like, and I can get their abilities down. So, but yeah, this game is the best. I mean, whenever, every time I play it, it's just so solid. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the real players, but, you know, this is as close to it as possible. Wow, that was pretty. Pretty play right there, guys. I'll take it. My slider set's not easy to get a win. So I'll take it any way I can get it. Hmm, right in traffic. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach them. They take the lead on that touch. So yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to find videos online, man. I, I end up watching my own videos, which is sad. Because I don't see a lot of people doing videos out there, man. They're doing like either just no videos at all or Madden videos or or you know, maybe it's just the time of year, I don't know. But you know, I like watching the 2K football videos, Backbreaker, NFL Fever. So if you guys know any good um, YouTubers out there that, that put out content with those games, you know, all pro football, obviously, ESPN 2K, you know, any of those games, man, hit me up in the comments. Let me know because the guys I watch, you know, I watch guys like Marauder, um... Uh, obviously, Gideon Prime was great when he was doing it, but obviously, you know, he's he just does uh, NBA 2K now for the most part. So, and there's some guys out there that, that do put out, um, once in a blue moon, they'll put out some APF, but, man, it's far and few between. You know, I think these games, we need more of them, uh, more videos out there. I keep saying it in my videos because I'm, you know, I look on my... On my phone and I'm like man where are these videos because I enjoy watching what people can do so anybody out there who plays this game who's a youtuber man show some vids share your thoughts on what you think about what's going on with you know your rosters you're making or what you do but you know a lot of the guys that I watch man they, they either retired or they're taking their you know they're just on their off season for doing YouTubes I don't know but Hopefully we can start seeing more soon because I want to see some football. But yeah, all these players should have legend faces, guys. So if you see any weird faces or anything odd, let me know. Um, I've had, I've had one person I think that was like, "Oh, why is Incognito?" I think it was Dollar Junior. <laughs> He's like, "Why is Incognito white or black?" And I'm like, and I'm thinking, you know, you know how many players we're do I'm doing here. I mean, this is very monotonous 
and uh, if I forget something or I make a mistake, that's um, that's just because I I'm doing so many players that sometimes you kind of lose track. But I've been putting things in to the editor to help me, you know, with uh, with the editing. And like I said, it's it's gonna be released soon, so I'll keep you guys posted. But there, I have my own little little uh, process on how I do on how I do my editing and and uh, in terms of you know how I use the editor and and what I think makes the most sense to to get uh, editing to have editing editing be done as efficiently as possible. So. So yeah, so this game looks pretty tight so far. I'm happy with uh, with the gameplay so far. You know, I want it to be challenging. You know, and and the Rams, I think they're gonna have a pretty good team this year. And from what I saw with the Seahawks, you know, they they seem pretty solid, as usual. Their defense is stacked. You know, oh great tackle, Sherman. But yeah, if you guys out there who play this game, who are really, uh, who are experts at it, if you guys have any, if you see anything or have any tips on ways you raid or things you do, you know, it's worth discussing for sure. Um, but like I told you guys in my first few vids, you know, I'm making a legitimate roster here and and I hope I get through it. You know, it's it's a lot of work and it's it takes time. You know, I think this is my sixth team. I'm probably doing like one. I'm putting one one team per week through. I think it's taken me. Um, and I only do them. I mostly do them on the weekends because during the week I'm busy. So like Friday night or Saturday night, you know, I put a couple hours in, and it's probably taken me. I'd say like six hours or so to get through a team. It's uh, it's no joke. It's no easy task. So yeah, I'm so happy we have this game because this game brings so much life to the to the football. Uh, I'm just gonna run this. Ah, that's a bad run. Um, yeah, this is my game, and you know. I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand the generic faces. So for me, having the legend faces like we have here, you know, that just makes such a difference. Let me know about those Rams logos. I like them. You know, it's the Viper, the Snake, but you know, the back. If you're looking at that from the backer side, it looks just like the Rams. So I like that one a lot better. But thanks for whoever told me that. I forget your name, so I didn't take a note of it. But uh, that was a good call. I think this, I think they look a lot better. Oh. Oh, that was a nice pass. Floated it out there. I guess it was just too far. That's the one thing, too, about this game. You know is the um the cornerback there is not just going to go crazy i mean his speed he's still you know, number 31 i think it is yeah on the rams he still is bound by his ratings you know even though he's getting beat here he's bound by his ratings and he's got to you know he's got to commit to only doing what his, what his ratings allow him to do so you know he didn't warp into the ball he didn't you know just run Turbo speed to get out there. He, you know, he did what. See, that's a nice run too. Can't do that in Madden. Sorry. You know, I hate talk, talking bad about Madden. You know, I really do. I wish the game was good. I, I, I wish it was a solid game. You know, and and for people who who enjoy it and like it, you know, I. Oh, this block. Sims 
swatted that pass away right at That's the problem with being a uh, small quarterback. But I don't understand that call. You uh wouldn't have gotten much at all even if it was You can get blocked. You pass the ball over over six foot five guys or whatever. Hmm, bad kick. Um, but yeah, man, going back to Madden. God, it's such a it's such a shame. But people out there like that game, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I know it's for the shield for the most part, but I uh, I just don't get it. And when you got a game like this, it looks this tight. Shh. I don't care about franchise mode personally. You know, I care about the um, you know recreating the NFL for sure. But you know, it all comes down to gameplay. If you got solid gameplay, that's the first thing. And without that, I don't care what kind of mode you have. <laughs> for me, it does not make any difference. So we'll see what happens. You know, I, I, uh, you know, I've been watching those indie companies. Nice tackle. Let's see if we can get these guys closer. I've been watching those indie uh, developers who are trying to make a game. Nice stop. And. Uh, And it's just funny because I'll oh, get him. Oh, good stop. It's just funny because it's so hard to make a game. These guys have such a hard um, objective that, that they're taking on. I just, um, I wish we were in a better spot, but... I'm having fun with this game. I mean, like I keep saying over and over and over. I mean, it's it's like having ESPN 2K17. I mean, it just feels that solid. Um, at least to me, you know, the the Raid Sports roster that first came out, you know, it had some issues. All the players weren't perfect. Um, the uniforms weren't perfect. Um, they didn't have the coach's uh, name. They didn't have um, season mode working that well. Oof. That was a close catch. Speaking of coaches, let's go ahead and take a look and let's challenge that. I know I'm not going to get it probably, but let's just challenge. So you got, you got Pete Carroll over there. I don't have the audio for the coaches though, so they're gonna say whatever they want. But the the names are there. Um, you know, we have the legend faces basically all over the team. You check out the coach names. I mean, they're right on the money, and their appearance. But you know, this game has evolved since that rate sports roster came out, and credit to those guys. Um, and I know Neff one work with them as well, but. They manually hexed, and I know a lot of guys out there were doing that for a long time, and hats off to those guys because, um, oh, they gave it to me. What? They gave it to me. I didn't even realize that. Wow. Did he put his foot down? Oh, that's a bad call. Unless he got his left foot down somehow. No. Oof. I'll take it, though. <laughs> Hey, rest miss him in real life, so I'm not going to uh, call it cheese. Um, but that's just, it's just, uh, it's its crazy what those guys did, were able to do, you know, by hand. Um, it just takes so much work. I mean, I'm using the editor that I, that I built, and even that takes a lot of work. But hats off to those guys who did all that, that work. Um... So, so yeah, I mean, there are things that I just don't have, um, 
that I can't really recall right now that that have that are improvements to the game since since the raid sports roster definitely improvements um, since they first put out theirs compared to using you know the editor now I mean it's just so for me it feels like this is like the first time I'm gonna be able to play a roster that has as much as we can get out of this game right now you know there's gonna be some limitations because I haven't spent the time to do it but um, the the schedule so I got a few things I have to figure out are you know the teams and what their schedule is going to look like oh there we go again you know if you kick it too low just they block it man I gotta see that because I think it's because I'm kicking it too low I'm kicking like a line drive if I kick it higher I might not get to it um the schedule so you know ESPN 2K5, we had the ability to change the schedule to the real schedules. I mean, if we could do that in this game, and they don't have all the player, I mean, all the teams in the season mode, so, you know, you won't have everything perfect, but because you only have three, you only have, um, what do you have? You have, you're missing out on, on eight teams, I believe. So you don't have the full, you don't have the full set of 32 teams in the in the um, in the season. So, but at least for your team, it'd be cool to set the schedule. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do there, and I also um, I'm also looking forward to see what else we could do with this game. You know, there's a lot more we can we can try to figure out. But yeah, those those great sports rosters, I never really got into them because, I don't know, maybe, like I kept saying before, maybe it's because I didn't build the roster. I didn't really care for the generic faces. I would see some players that didn't look right. Um, I don't know. And obviously we didn't have as much uh, that we could do with the game as we can do now. So this roster that uh, that I'm making here is... It's something that I'm really looking forward to playing this year. I just can't wait. And I'm doing it early enough where I might be able to, you know, get something going by the time the season starts. I mean, I don't know. We got, we got some time. So I'm really excited. And the one thing that's kind of cool, too, for me, is I don't typically play with any other team except for the Bills. I mean, I only play with the Bills, typically. And... And so it's given me an opportunity to like learn other teams and play with them. And and so for you guys out there who do roster editing and do testing, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It makes a, it makes up makes for a new experience, I can tell you that. So I'm getting to play with all these teams and even teams that are my rivals. And uh, it's hard for me to do. But... But that's something that uh, that you gain. So let's see the stats. Let's watch the halftime show. Let's see what stats we got. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. Number four puts in an easy short one. A clean kick. And the uh, you know when I get something done, even if I don't finish the whole thing, which I'm obviously not planning on on uh, happening. I want to get this done. I'm going to release my roster to everybody out there and uh, you know if you guys want to donate you can donate if you don't that's fine but you know and I'm also going to try to take this roster and apply it to Backbreaker and apply it to ESPN 2K4 so yeah Seahawks are dominating the time of possession we should be we should be blowing them out That was a nice little play there. That was dangerous, but it worked out for me. Well, I know I'm making long videos, guys. And, uh, you know, for those of you guys who who watch 
and want to stick through them, you know, I'm sure you're, uh, I know they're long and I know they can be, they could be tough to get through, but, you know, I'm really trying to showcase the, the gameplay, you know, and I'm also testing while I'm doing this. So, you know, these, these videos aren't meant to, to be phenomenal videos. These are just to show off the game, show off what I'm doing with the editor and, you know, try to get some feedback. So I'll cut this one off because doing more than a half seems like a really long, long time and the video gets, uh, you know, it gets crazy. So I'll keep doing more videos as I go. I'm not sure what team I'm going to do next, but I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to just look at the stats real quick so we can see you know, what we're dealing with here. Um, Wilson's doing decent. No interceptions. So that, that always helps. And he's got a touchdown. Russian yards are kind of low. Usually they're a lot higher than that in my other games. So, you know, it seems like a pretty pretty tight game, defensive battle. So we'll see how it plays out. But I'm not really getting any penalties, and that's kind of what I'm... I need to figure out how to get more penalties. I got my penalties set. I'll just show you guys real quick before we get off. Um, I got them set pretty high. I mean, 90, 85, 85, 90, 100, 80, 80, 60, 20. I find that the clipping is, if I put it high... Higher than that, it, sh it has a lot of, um, it shows up a lot. Same thing with an ineligible receiver downfield. And then offensive holding is another one um, that I see a lot of. So I brought it down from 100 to 90. But I'll keep tweaking as we go and uh, see how the game plays. But till next time, guys, I'll catch you. Thanks for watching. And like if you like the video or dislike if you didn't like it. And uh, leave me your comments. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Take care. Till next time. Peace.